I'm going to show you how you can add a timer to your quizzes that are made in Google Forms. Now, the way you can actually do this is when you are in your form with your quiz, let's say the quiz is complete. What we can actually do is at the top right, click the three dots right up here and go to add-ons. Now, once this pops up, we actually want to search up timer for Google Forms. And what we can actually do is there are a bunch of different options that pop up. We can select this one right here, timer for Google Forms. It's the one with um, the image that looks like this. We can just click that and click install, click continue. It's going to go ahead and ask us to just choose our account that we have. And once again, allow that we want to add this to our Google Form. It'll let us know that this has been installed and we click done, close out of this. Now we can see that we actually are back to our Google Form. We can actually refresh this. And now what we can actually do is click the little puzzle piece right up here and it'll show us the add-ons that we have and the one we just downloaded, which is timer for Google Forms. We can actually click that and click open. Now this will pop up right here. We'll give it a second to just um, open up and initialize. It does take a little while on the first time around but uh, in the future it should be quicker. So now let's see that we have this all popped up and it's going to go ahead and first ask us the allow time. Let's say we want five minutes and what we can actually do is it's going to ask us for specific instructions that we might have about this. Um, we, the default text, it looks like this, but you can just change the instructions if you want. And then finally, you can actually also select start and end dates. So if you want maybe everyone to have to take this quiz together, you can set specific dates for when the form opens and when it closes or when it must be started before so everyone can start at the same time. So now what you can actually do is go ahead and click copy link. So you don't want to actually use the link that um, Google Forms provides you. You want to go ahead and use the link that's available through this actual um, add-on. So we can cl click a copy link. And let's say we go to a new tab and we can just go ahead and paste this link and go to it. What you'll actual, actually see is it pops up with uh, a landing page. So it has the title of our quiz, um, the description, it tells us how much time is allowed and it asks for our full name. So let's say we just wanna put Joe Smith, for example, and we can go ahead and click start. And now as you can actually see, the quiz has started and you can actually see a timer that is counting down at the top and it'll show you the time in minutes as well. So let's go ahead and just select our options and we can go ahead and just click next. And so what will actually happen is this is another page that usually isn't there, but with the add-on, it actually adds this on. And this will just be something that we want to make sure that the people that are using the quiz do not edit. And uh, we can just let them know beforehand, or um, they can actually also see the instructions saying that we don't want to edit this at all. So it is very clear and we can just click submit. Once we can actually click submit, we can, you know, if you have this enabled, students can view their own score. And if you don't, they'll, they won't be able to see that. What you can actually also do is go back to your um, Google form and you can go into the responses section and you'll actually be able to see the responses for the quiz as well. And so that's exactly how you can go ahead and add on a timer for your quiz that's made in Google Forms. If this was helpful, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you with a response.